a tale of two teams right in the post player break era finding their footing within the counter strike community again at the professional level we're going to be going into navi versus cloud nine a bout which is sure to be one for the books here in the initial matchups of esl1 new york we're here at the intel esports arena in burbank capturing all the group a matches and by we i mean myself and my two friends here in james and jordan nothing gilbert guys we just saw this sk matchup they were able to take it over envious we're now jumping over into cloud nine and navi how are we yeah. feeling about this one uh it's, it's nice to see sk kind of like get through a game that had a little bit of friction right sk seems to start slow at tournaments uh but you know I'd Barn be lying nine. if I said I wasn't excited to see the boys here, Cloud9, go up against Navi after the 70-round uh, barn burner at ESL Cologne. Yeah. Barn burner. Yeah. It's uh, just an awesome all-around way to describe anything. Yeah. That was I'm like eating a my breakfast. three in one. It's one of those words that nobody really knows what That's it means, but you can kind of use it ubiquitously. That yeah. might have been the first match I played where there was two SIG breaks taken. Oh, there, yeah. The Navi guys just walked past me. I'm sitting in there in my spawn. Uh, is that Guardian just walked by me? He's... <laughs> See, with their whole team gone. 60 <laughs> rounds of the tournament. Well, you talk about those guys. Let's take a look now at some of those guys that you're referring to in this Cloud9 lineup. Skadoodle, Stewie2K, Rush, Automatic, and Tarek. And we do know of the roster change, which put Never heard of them. those two guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, strangers to, to us, at least. I'm sure some other people have heard of these guys. Uh, but, but certainly a different team now in the post-player break era that they have added. Uh, Tarek yep. and Rush. Yeah, we talked a little bit about those changes between us, right? You got Tarek, who sh should maybe take some of the weight off Stu's shoulder. Ideally, right on paper, do you want you want Tarek making some more plays on T side specifically? Um, Rush is kind of bringing that anchor role into maybe the lurks on some of the T side. Stu's doing it a little bit on cash, and then on CT side, Rush maybe staying at home for some of those spots, using his chemistry maybe outside on train with Tarek. Yeah, I mean, at, at a less official level, I'm just happy that they replaced, you know. You, you're kind of like the vocal guy. You know, you, they need to replace that like thing that's always in your ear talking the whole time. Like Rush, like super good communicator in game. You know, also like yourself, very good communicator in game and in person, which Keep is why going. I like you so much. Tell me more. Um, and then Tarek's just the mechanical monster, right? He just flicks right to the head. We saw it. I think it was the Inferno match they played against. Uh, who was their last big Inferno match at Malmo? Is North, right? Yeah. So North ended up beating them on Inferno, but Tarek was just a complete beast, right? Like Andy's IGLing, you know, something that people yeah. like to talk about all the time. Well, we do have to take a look at the competition today, and that is going to be Nottis Vincere, Zeus, Edward, Simple, Flamey, and Seized. Uh, we do know that since there was this whole player moving yeah. around, shuffle type thing, uh, Zeus coming back in the lineup after going to Gambit. Uh, what is what is this team looking like now? Um, you go ahead. Well, me and Marcus could probably talk both at the same time. We were talking about this earlier, about these thoughts. Obviously, Simple's coming here. He's opping. Um, so we're going to have more to look at. I think if we really want to talk about Navi in depth, we can. Is that the moment? Is this the time? Uh, I think it's the time, but it's also on the heels of the veto. So it, more importantly, we're going to oh, find okay, out what the initial matchups are going to be. Or excuse me, the, the, the initial map we'll is going to be. talk about our thoughts over the veto. How about that? I, I personally enjoy your thoughts. I enjoy you know harnessing them and, and really just, you know, <laughs> Trying to help you through them all. Namaste. But uh, Namaste. the bands are out, so we're going to see cash there from the Navi side of things. Uh, and Take a look. Nuke by Cloud9, Train by Cloud9. Makes sense so far. I uh, that train, train band's a little, though, yeah. So maybe they're feeling insecure. I think one of the problems we've had in the past on Train is a bit of an identity crisis when we went between Stu, Stu and Tim calling. They might be experiencing some of the same now with Tarek calling to where, you know, one of Tarek's specialty is the callers, people didn't know his style, and he's kind of calling that, Okay, we have extracts, but we're gonna go four out here, four out there, this, that, the other. You don't catch Navi off guard too often. Mm -hmm. So Let, let's check out the next two bands here and see where this one's gonna end up. Cobble mm -hmm. and Mirage coming out from the Navi side of things. Yeah, so C9 uh, beat Navi last time on Mirage. Um, some interesting plays by C9 and Mirage. Obviously, totally different roster, but Mirage is one of those maps that's kind of like an equalizer, right? Everyone kind of knows what plays that can be made. Yeah. Well, we've got the last ban here. It's going to be overpassed. Leaving us on Inferno. Mm. Is this where we saw this landing, and who does this benefit more? I mean, if I had to choose which map it could have landed on, I would have chose Inferno, Overpass, or Train. Right? Like, those are kind of like the three I was looking for. Inferno is actually a great map for C9. They have a lot of cool strats on it. Yeah, I think the Overpass band to me at least makes sense. Um, when Tim joined our team, he his last iteration of his team didn't play a lot of Overpass. The Optic guys, I thought, maybe would make it more comfortable. But either way... Um, 
I think the Inferno is a good chance for both teams. All right. I would normally give you uh, the, the platform to explain your predictions, but I just need one real quick from each of you. So what do you got, James? Uh, I think this one's going to be really close, 16-13, either way. I need time to express my e thoughts. Either way. <laughs> I, I mean, I think I think C9 will win it. I think they're, they're uh, Inferno strong. Jordan? I'm gonna. I feel. I feel like Navi 1611. But at the same time, if if C9 could do what I feel like Marcus has been talking about, he's been kind of studying him a bit. Uh, C9 1612. Well, I have two. I have two predictions. Is that a lot. Uh, I just did it. You know what? I <laughs> don't talk I think to me about uh, it. We're breaking all it. sort of ratings today. We're breaking all. Let's sorts go in of game. Rules. I'm sick of talking. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and go in game. And to do that, we're gonna have Launders into Bears. Take it away, fellas. Hey, you guys talk way too much, man. It was yeah. a good prediction, though. I I enjoyed it. I want to see both sides of the angles. Yeah. 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 And I'm, I'm going to lean on their predictions because they know way more about Cloud9 than I do. So. I mean, they, they've they seen each other, you know, hang out together in real life. They so. chill. They know each other on a whole different level that I can never know. Right. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> Mind, body, spirit. They're all up in there. Helping each other stretch out. This, oh. you know, getting to, is this live? Oh, my gosh. Yes. We are, we are well into it. We have uh, a four on four already. Traded entries, Navi and Cloud9. Here on Inferno, um, not exactly sure how it got so ugly so quickly, but Stewie's out of the round. Simple out of the round, arguably the two, the best player from each team respectively, but still some heavy hitters left on the board for sure. As you see that Cloud9, they do kind of have a spread out where they're trying to get control of Banana. So Automatic's going to try to peek this angle, and he takes out C's. Uh, now this opens the floodgates for C9 to kind of a little pep in their step. On the CT side, you look for those AKs. On the T side, you look for those USPs. <laughs> it's the golden ticket for sure. Tarek finding a cool angle, but Zeus, Zeus's was a little bit cooler. Six HP, headshot instantly. B site taken. Two players from Navi already down to one shot territory. Zeus moving in to take control of uh, construction or church now. And two players on the big flank from from Banana. This is going to be a tough retake for Na'Vi being so low. First headshot comes out. Automatic. On point. As we saw him earlier. Another opponent doesn't isn't able to f capitalize on that first peak. And as they move in, Zeus is hurt. Takes, gets taken down by Rush. Crossfire at the back of the site, but Edward facing both opponents. Will he be able to find an opportunity? Time ticking down. No HP. No kill to be made. He's going to fall back. No kit to defuse. No chance to win. Can't get the kill either. That's it. Goes down. Great round from Automatic. Awesome round by Cloud9 and great post plant. I like to see that they're in a setup to where one person peaks, they can change kills, one person, you know, can, can go back and forth, mm -hmm. make them come to you. So uh, nicely played there by Cloud9. Yeah, well done. And now we move into the second. It's going to be a force up for, for Na'Vi. They have a scout on Zeus and a couple of assorted pistols between the rest of them. Cloud9, however, two SMGs and a, a few rifles. Definitely want to play it safe. They're probably expecting a force. They want to play it as such. Crouching here to avoid any kind of spam as they move up to take Hall's control. I want to see, I want to hear Zeus's comms in these situations. Let's go A, mess them up. Mess them up, yeah. Well, I say it's a nice way. He <laughs> says it a little, uh, you know. It's definitely the jock. One of the jocks <laughs> of esports for sure. <laughs> Very, very simple calling, but it gets everyone on the same page. That's what matters. That's important, you right? You do prep work before the match. Can't have too many cooks in the kitchen. Mm -mm. Gotta have a master chef taking control. The Gordon, Gordon Ramsay of CSGO. Oh. Hey. It's like we're in each other's minds right now. Yeah, there. we're on the same wavelength right now. I know. It's, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's cool. You know, it's only awkward at, at first. At first. And then you just accept it. <laughs> you, just, you get used to it. And then we run off to Vegas. In the end, it just, you know. Just skin and fluid. <laughs> skin, bones, and fluid. Woo! All right. Woo! Navi lose a player early on. Good good control for Cloud9 as they run uh, kind of a, a fake here to take control of B. Just a hold rotates for a moment. Pressure at Arch as players peek him. Damage is dealt. Initial kill comes out. Oh, shot with the, the scout somehow misses. And the lane is taken. Stewie. And Simp or Stewie and Scoodle, I think, with the uh, SMGs are able to get their kills. Long range MAC-10, no problem. Hold it sideways, unload the bullets, and put it in faces. Flamey on the retake. Versus four. Coming up lane, kills Skadoodle, traded out by Stewie. 
recover the AK, and they only lost the two SMGs, so not a bad round overall. Not too shabby at all. And Navi had a they four spot, so they're gonna have to save right now. And so you know, it's always great when you don't lose a second round, right? Yeah, I feel like I accomplished. At something. what point did that become an accomplishment? But that is just yeah. It's the hardest round in the game. It is right, the hardest round in the. That's another quote. That's a tweet right there. <laughs> I like that. You know that coach quote, sweet. Uh huh. You gotta have them. You gotta have them on point. You gotta have a, a notepad of just eighty of them. Entering with nades onto onto car. That's a, that's an interesting way to do it. Sometimes slashes can can work both ways. Nades will always do that damage. They will do it unless yeah. it's behind a rock, or <laughs> you know under a crack, in, in, uh, under a crevice, and then it just won't do anything. Yeah, that's true. Maybe overvaluing them just a tiny bit, but if working as intended. It's a great way to entry, and they have made their way up to B. Bomb is following closely behind three players from Cloud9. However, at A, kiting all of these uh, CTs peaking mid. Automatic taking two out with headshots, and Tarek looking for the third, but being safe about it. He's not yeah, smart. Hey, he's not overprodding here. Showing some discipline and he's making sure not to give up skill. Smarter than you guys gave him credit for. He's that not peanut a, brain thing was never not real. A, he's not a peanut brain. He's, he's always playing, been a smart he's, player. He's playing you guys. Yeah, he makes it. He wants you to believe he, it. He's playing the dumb guy. Yeah, that's actually the mastermind behind everything. Right. You know, you see all these movies and TV shows. He's so confident that he's fine letting you think that. Exactly. You know? That's that's true confidence. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know he's just he, he doesn't care about his image. He cares about the final goal. The final goal. To win. The score at the top. The scop. The scope. <laughs> the scop. The score. Yes. That's the only one that matters. As Tarek creeps into. Oh my gosh! Simple from the back. Rushes up with the P250, gets killed. Five alive for Cloud9. Solid start to this half. Uh, they will, I don't know if they'll recycle this uh, with this MAC-10 or just upgrade it. It's a cheap upgrade. They might do the, the James IRL. What's the James IRL? Take a MAC-10 into the apartment and just own faces. They know that Navi forced up on the second round, but they actually did buy head armor on everybody. So there won't be any free kills for Stewie. It's going to be harder. Seize, except for Seize. seize. So okay. whoever Seize is, he's going to be a magnet. He's going to know. We're going to need some Seize camp. Okay, he's up in uh, in B playing pretty passively. So it's going to be tough. Long range battle no matter what. And uh, yeah, I mean, they ultimately Cloud9 don't have anything. They didn't spend anything on this round. Actually, don't even have all that much utility. Starting to use it early to clear out top banana. Tarek here to keep Navi honest at A. And Stewie to lead in the site. They might go quick. And yep, he's starting to run in. Oh, we'll actually get that kill straight up. And it's two kills, entries, both with the MAC-10. That is demoralizing. Navi completely losing a site with rifles to a MAC-10. And I think, well, we'll finish this round, then we'll talk about it. Oh. As you see here, Simple's going to clear out this back hall. He's going to try and get a shot, but uh, Cloud9 is playing this very patient, not giving him an opportunity to get these headshots. So Simple has to fall back towards CT spawn, and I'm pretty sure they're going to save at this point. Outnumbered, bomb down, time's ticking, not worth. No, that's all the checks. All the checks are there for Cloud9. Have a check mark. Have a checklist. Check guys, list. yell. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. no. Save, guys. Save. That's it. Save, guys. Mental checklist. So what was that? What was the point you were going to bring up? So as you saw in this B bomb set with Navi, it looked like both of them had their nades out. Yeah. So if you have like a staggered head up where one person's up close and then say a flame goes in the back, like anchoring, mm -hmm. you can't both have your nades out. You see right here, there's a nade, gets caught out, and then he throws a nade and it's too late to peek. You can't peek, yeah. And so it's just the timing was way off and... You gotta be... It seemed like they were half anticipating a rush, but thought they had a few more seconds to deal with it. Obviously, you didn't should have, always like, anticipate something. You know, you have to always be ready. Always be ready. Always be ready. ABR. <laughs> Critically important. Navi was not ready, and they got punished for it. Oh. And now Cloud9, they got the they got the momentum on their side. Try and clear out Banana. Key this map. Get, get in control, of Banana. Pushing them back. As you what see, it's all about. You see Navi's trying to be aggressive. They're poking. They're prodding. You know, they're trying to entice you to come be. Come be. Come it's be. open. Get in here. We have candy here. There's only a couple of us. <laughs> We're, we don't have guns. We have a pistol, I promise. We wouldn't shoot back. No. That's, We're having a good time. That's the illusion. You've got you've to sell to your opponents. Edward at lane looking at Boiler. Three players now moved over. C's stayed over at B just for a bit. Hope for a rush, but also just to re-smoke for his team so that they could delay longer. Mid-smoke comes out. Will it stop bracket control? We'll see. 
Cloud9 might be respecting it. Boost over the Arch Smoke. Interesting setup. Edward's going to have a lot of pressure put on him. Good flash. Tarek is unable to get his way into pit. And the smoke can make that even more difficult now that he can't simply run out again. Uh, the boost is forfeited, but pick control is taken. Tarek in a headshot angle is a really tough fight for Edward. And Zeus running up to mid, not expecting people to have come this late. But this is leaving two alive now for Cloud9. They have to recover the bomb. The Mala goes out to make this possible. C's going to rotate into the site, but they've also got someone at mid to fight. And Rush is able to win the duel versus Flamey, a one-on-one. -on -one. You don't often see that, especially from such a favorable angle. Pick control as well. Rush, as he has to just get the bomb, is able to come in and plant it as well. Molly will be no good. Sees here, has to fight a crossfire. Tarek's ready to support his teammate. Cloud9 are up 5-0. What the hell happened? I, I am super impressed so far with Cloud9 and their teamwork. Way better than in the last in the last couple of weeks that we saw them in the mm. Pro League. Way better. And so they're patient. They're waiting for each other. Mm -hmm. They're moving together. Yeah. They're packing things at, you know, two different spots at the same time. It's like they're on a whole nother, a whole nother uh, level, and it's showing, and it's it's beautiful. I love seeing this. Mm. Beautiful NACS. Yeah. So we, has, uh, we saw the, the boost over Arch. Like, if they had rushed bracket control, they would have gotten It's a good move killed. by Navi. It was cool. I think people want to take that. I now. like that, yeah. I'm going to take it. You're gonna take it. Well, I'm gonna play Pogs. So heavy boost. That's how you win open. <laughs> That's how you win open. <laughs> Just do the basic stuff. The counter is the meta. That's all it's, you gotta do. See, we see some reverse banana control. The great pressure. They get. They win these duels. Yeah, they they go two for two for three people. No problem for them. Uh, really, really smart. You know, you've got to make them respect your banana and. Uh, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you can't, can't be, can't be difficult. Don't, don't underestimate the banana. Don't <laughs> underestimate the banana. Yeah, always. Gotta I'm show a, love for it. A grower, not a shower. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> side note. Segway. Segway. Family show. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's it's tough bout for Cloud9. No banana control. Uh, huge man advantage. Damage. More damage being dealt. It doesn't get tougher than this. I mean, you shouldn't be able to win from this position 2v4. So definitely not difficult, but it starts with the first kill. It's simple. Misses the shot, but finally hits the second one. And Tarek oh, ooh, leans up with a nice no scope on Rush. Navi showing some good uh, mix up tactics, pushing B. That's an old school. That's an old school in Inferno tactic. It even comes back to 1.6. The retake? The three push B. Yeah. They kind of did a little delayed, but yeah. it still works all the same. You know, you throw a flash or two, just take over angles and just kind of. Like, you want them to kind of take up uh, um, up the banana a little bit. Yeah. And then you flash and execute and push them and right. just really catch them off guard. Like, like not too much. You, know? so, yeah. you have this? A little bit. Yeah, but that's, all, like, that's as far as you They're go. They're enticing, you know? Right. Like, come be. We don't have guns. Come banana. We're friendly here. We're throwing these nades, but we're not standing here. We're happy to see you. And uh, yeah, they timed it perfectly. And again, they uh, they throw a, a couple of early nades on banana, make sure that they don't try it again. A little bit of a parallel from what we saw with SK and Envy on Cobble. But uh, the two players on Banana after taking control of it and leaving Flamey to watch down this long lane are stacking a problem for Cloud9 since they aren't able to poke up here again or don't seem to intend to. Tarek uh, throwing a smoke out on the balcony. So maybe guys their escape simple, being pushed into pit but a very strong position. And now is actually moving out. The flash is here, and he's taken a very aggressive angle. And this is, you know, the power of the confidence. Not typically a safe, sp a safe place to stand, but oh no! Even though with the confidence, can't find his kill. And now it's just Zeus left on the site. As Flamey pushes through an arch smoke and gets killed, Zeus gets one. But that's it. A site is taken. What a hit! I think for that setup, uh, Cloud Nine. Nice call on the pit execute. The time that Simple's in the pit with an alt. Mm -hmm. so they've smoked off his entrance. They they put Simple in this awkward angle, where he's he 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 knew that if he stayed in pit, he was probably gonna get pinched. Yeah, because of smokes and flashes. So he jumped up beyond the smoke, which is a really odd spot. It's an odd spot. He probably would gotten one kill if he hit a shot. Yeah. But in the long run, his team still it still collapsed on their defense mm -hmm. where the guy was in pit i think he killed someone from the pit in the bomb site or small pit or whatnot and simple was just right there so i don't know if that was like a miscommunication it seemed like an on the fly adjustment from simple but there was no real support for him beyond that yeah uh, the the navi didn't adjust to him that well and maybe didn't expect a person in pit 
And uh, you That's know, fair. it's really cool because for I mean, for Cloud Nine, they get they get pick control, which is huge. From yeah. there, you know, we saw the power of that when Edward was sitting on A. Tarek is in pit on their site, but from a headshot angle, he's actually got a better fight as a terrorist entering the site. Mm -hmm. So a lot of focus on that, and Navi don't have an answer for it just yet. Looks like Navi's going to have to try to adjust their sub just a little bit. Cloud Nine is um, really just bashing them around. Yeah. A uh, couple of nades early on, but no Molotovs just yet. I, from either team, really. Doing the dance on Banana, and Navi aren't shying away from it. I do like the holding control. It seemed like they had a good advantage. Zeus gets pushed into an awkward spot. Great Hall's Crush completely dismantles their defense, and Simple is on the rush rotate in, but he realizes that Cloud9 are going to take this opportunity and run with it. And just like that. Oh, man. A site gets excavated. Stewie even wins his duel at B, basically even though he doesn't need to. This round is over. See, he's, he's got a fend for his life. And uh, he's got four terrorists looking for him. Five, even. They, they realize he's not going to go for this. They've cleared out every single position. And he probably won't even be able to save. He's got to get five kills, almost. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they know that Navi was low on money. They had to rebuy again. And so uh, Cloud9 just has a lot of money. Why not just go for a little risk? Make some kills. I wouldn't risk an off though. The right oh. mm. That's it. Only one kill. And Navi are going to have to save. Wow, it's a tough one. The, the full reset, 7 to 1, 2K apiece. What do you it's do? Not looking good. What do you do? It's not looking good. It's looking bad. You no, know, I I do some really ridiculous Get crazy. crazy. Just get crazy and try to sp spark some some emotion. Mm -hmm. Like just do like a four person push or stack and just I mean, I think they're just talking about it right now instead of using the timeout. Yeah, making it look like it's warm up right now, clearly in the comms. Zeus probably going hard in the mumble. <laughs> hard in the mumble. Seek a blat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And uh, three players at A, but kind of spread out. They really weren't concerned, it seems, with winning this round. They just are using this almost as a pseudo timeout, of, as we've seen before. And sometimes that's what you need to do. Or sometimes you need to win, on, you know, on, on a full save. You always have the opportunity. You can't. That's true. I mean, that's why you have timeouts as well, yeah. right? Maybe you should use them. It's not likely, but it's not, it's you have to believe that you can do it. Without belief, where are we? Who are we as people? I know. That's what separates us from the beasts. Separ belief. Separates us from, yeah. yeah I think you, you, you said it very nicely right there. Nail on the head. Nail on the head. Hit Nail in the coffin for an Avi so they don't get a single Single frag. The dinger on the doorbell. <laughs> the dinger on the doorbell. <laughs> now let's see. How how is how are Navi going to adjust? I'm thinking I mean, usually people fall back to like a two op setup. Right. On the side, but I don't know if Navi's a type of team to have two ops. I mean I don't think so. Like they don't even have one op. Maybe that's the problem. They have no money, yeah. Even after spending no money last round, I think they decided that they could at least they don't have the double save, which is something that you would probably expect, but yeah. yeah, with a couple of kills they had, decided not to spend any money last round, put together a buy here. And that's an, that's an argument for teams that spend a little bit of money on eco rounds. Any money they spent last round would have taken a, a smoke, a flash, full armor, um, a kit, which they don't even actually have right now, and maybe put someone on a UMP. So now they, they do have a pretty solid buy, but a lot of it's going to have to come down to frags. Banana control is pretty much forfeited. Instead, they were deciding to stack this with three. I'm not sure if they're just going to go for the boost and fall back, but... Um, it looks like they might try to do something aggressive. Initial flash goes over to try to bait anyone playing anti-flash, but no one's there. Uh, Cloud9 playing way back, understanding that Navi, if they did buy, will try to get aggressive and have seen some early utility. The smoke going down is not something you'd see probably on an eco round, so... Molotov yeah. take control, and that's it. They're given top banana. And now this, this Molotov causes a simple to kind of over-rotate towards B, which is the right call, but... Cloud9 playing this very smart. They're applying pressure, trying to bait out rotates, and this allows Cloud9 to kind of sneak in the house a little bit. You see Rush and Tark usually are the, the guys working this area, and, and it's working very well. Now you see Cloud9 actually walking back to B, so very uh, complex strat right here, kind of like a double fake. 
Look at this. Tarek with the boost. Will he jump on the balcony? Yes, yes he will. He actually gets way up there and doesn't hear anything quite yet. Kind of gives up his position. Great headshot as he swings out wide, but it's actually a B hit all along. Hasn't pulled a rotate. Two players are going down. The hold is really good, however. There's still one alive. He gets killed by Skadoodle. 2v2 after plant situation. Probably a better round than we would have anticipated considering how well Cloud9 were playing it out. But again, the aim was on point. Now it's actually Skadoodle. Clutch Master left alone with the off. One player pushes through, crouches under the bullet, and the cross wide is nice, simple, avoids getting opt and, and leaving Edward in a 1v1. Diffuse comes out early. It's unfortunate that, I hate to say this, but Scott kind of missed an easy shot right there. Kind of missed. I mean, you know, it's it's a it's pressure. You're on the stage playing against one, you know, top team. It's a big deal. You know, Not many people in your position. Yeah, so I can't really judge him. And you guys can't either. <laughs> and the chat, stop judging. <laughs> you guys aren't here. It's true, you're not at ESL 1 New York where the stakes are as high as they get, really. You guys are still getting out of Maine. That's right, you're not even out of Maine yet. I don't want to hear it. Was, I mean, they could have led into kind of either site. I mean, did they play too hard on, on, on both entrances? I don't... I'm not sure. It could have gone either way. The, the, hold, the hold was good at the end of the day. I, Ooh, yeah. wow. I think Navi played that really well. For I think Skadoodle, the Molotov helped. I think he actually tagged him in the Molotov. He it did. wasn't... Must have been a leg at the same time. And actually lives because of it. Wow. Very close call. You see that Tarek and Rush are doing their halls thing. These guys are a tag team. That's right, yeah. Formerly from Team Optic. Definitely. Might as well use the same spots that they're used to. Yeah. It cuts down a lot of time on uh, prep work and set up new strategy for a, a new team, pretty much. Definitely. I mean, sometimes it only takes two to take control of something, and if they can do it in tandem and they're used to it, you don't have to reinvent yourselves. It takes two to tango. That's right. And, uh, or three, depends where you're from. Or three, depends what country <laughs> you have arrived from. And uh, Zeus realizes that he can't just fall back too quickly, but he doesn't really have a teammate here to trade him out if he dies. Was looking for an opportunity to regress. Full bracket control, however. The flash comes out. No one's dodging it, but uh, he comes a little wide. Peeks into three people. Doesn't even come away with a frag, so that's tough. Both player ho plus players, however, are at A. They see the push down B. They realize, all right, well, there's no one else pushing. They have CT control. Let's just hit this site automatic. You stayed back. Make sure no one can get frisky on A. And an, another round, man. This is tough. This Cloud is looking dire for Navi. Yeah, Cloud9's making this look a little too easy. I thought it'd be a little... I don't know, this sometimes can be a T-side map, but Cloud9's playing so well. The moves they're making, the way they're baiting nades, they're picking angles. It's just... It's it's a whole other level than what I'm used to seeing. It's crispy. It's crispy. Yeah. It's spicy. It's spicy. It's spicy. Like, as you saw in the middle, uh, all those baits of flashes for Edward was great. Um, unfortunately, he missed a shot, but he had to turn like four or five times in that angle. And I, th I think mm. that's uh, that's a sign of a good team where your timing and spacing right. can, can work that, you know, oh, I dodged the first one. Yeah. Oh, I got hit by the second one. Or oh, I dodged the second flash. Or oh, here comes the third flash. So it's it's pretty pretty amazing to see. There it is. Kind of want the f Does he get tagged? Yeah, he must have got tagged, yeah. There's no way you die that quickly. He was in there it's for a little bit, though. got to be salty about that one. Yeah. yeah, he did run through it, but it was too instant, yeah. I feel like. May we'll see. Navi, gonna gonna pump on the brakes here. <laughs> hey, guys, what is going on? What the hell is going what on, is boys? What is going on? What do we do against a Cloud9 that's playing, that's on fire right now? This is one team that we know are definitely going hard in the comms. They are. You know, Cloud9's pumped. They're ready. Yep. They don't want to be iced here. No, they don't want how do you how do you avoid being iced when someone calls a pause on you? You can't relish in your accomplishment in the moment. There you go. It's not over until it's over. Because you know, a lot of situations, people are like, hey man, you see the shot? That was so good <laughs> last round. I get like three headshots, man. Yeah. You can't do that. You gotta stay focused. Focus on the round. See what, think what they might how it adjusts to you. Yeah. It's all about staying focused. Staying focused. Yeah. Staying focused. You know, you hit a nice shot. You have 20 kills. So what? Mm. Just Move on. Don't think about it. Best way to choke is to think about five rounds from now, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, well, you know, let's play it safe or whatever. That's a, the, the other way that a lot of people seem to choke as well. Yeah, there's a little, there's a mini war in every single round that you have to win on your way to the end of the game, so. It's all about the battles. Right. It's like risk. <laughs> it looks like Cloud9's taking over 
the Navi land. Skadoodle, nice shot on Simple. Who's Skadoodle? The Flamey taking out Stewie 2K, so it's still 4 and 4. Bomb control has been 4, but they're going to have to go back 4. It's still early, but no one, no one from Navi has pushed, thankfully, for Cloud9. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's 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 kind of a half by here. Navi are in a place where they can afford some stuff, but not, not a whole bunch. Kills are coming out, however. It's actually Navi with a man advantage in a big way suddenly as they're up four to two. Three rotates into a rush. This molly, will it spread to Edward? We'll soon find out. He can't finish off his kill. Edward's safe and sound. Skadoodle's got all his grenades, 100 HP and the bomb, but also an op versus four people who can flank from any direction. He is going to be, his anxiety levels are going to be an all-time high in this moment. Uh, you know, he's got he's got rounds to play with, but he doesn't want to lose here, especially considering Navi barely invested anything. And two AKs and op, so, trading hands. So what's really weird about that round, I don't think Navi did m anything much differently. I think the timeout actually made Cloud9 rethink things too much, and maybe they got loose. Mm. Like, or not loose, but they kind of... You know, when you're in the moment, you get that hype up. Yeah. And if you just let go just a little bit, you kind of take that exhale, that deep breath. I think Cloud9 really just exhaled on that timeout. And actually, because they're all weird. That was a weird round to lose when people are dying individually to it, pistols. Because you saw so many duels won by Cloud9, even when Navi were way better set up for it. And mm -hmm. here it's just kind of dry peaks and, and uh, much easier fights. And uh, still, Navi... Were able to come out on top. I think he even lost the first frag. So yeah, Stewie died right away and gave up an AK. Hall's control being taken by Cloud9 on another rifle. We'll, let's see if it really was that Edward off of Skadoodle going on cycle gets killed. Rush trades him out, but in the four on four, Zeus is spotted, kind of in a tough spot. They forfeited pit control once again, which we've seen cause problems for Cloud or for Navi, I should say. Uh, but it doesn't look like this time they're going to take it. Tarek was our man to jump out halls. He's not there right now. They're actually making their way back to B. Simple, after the smoke dissipates, is going to have line of sight. The flash pops. Stewie comes out a little bit early as Simple was being aggressive as he does. Can't hit the player jumping. Tarek capitalizes through the wood, and that's actually a huge frag because now the sight's taken. It's, it's a three-on-three, -three, basically retake. There might be a gap here that Cloud9 might, Cloud9 might not notice, but... Flamey can't hit that shot. Automatic also holds down the flank after, I think, picking up the op of Simple. And with with no nades, with no nades, they've really got to beg for some mistakes. Smoke comes out to Banana. Rush in the back of the site. Two players on Banana. And there's a headshot from Rush to kick things off. Flamey is crushing the... Oh, he actually goes for the tap. Tarek. Peeks him right away. Smart play by Tark to peek in that moment. Right. And uh, interesting that Flamey botched his uh, B flash at mm -hmm. the start. If you would have hit that flash, you would have probably stalled Cloud9 for an extra couple, three to four seconds. Mm -hmm. And that would allow him to maybe sneak up a little bit, get in better position. Bounce off the column. Yeah, bounce off the column and it just went backwards. And so if you hit that pop flash, it could have been a different round, uh, almost in favor of Navi, even though. It was Cloud9 had the man advantage. But because it isn't, now Na'Vi have a mixed buy. They have, uh, it's just economically just been a disaster here on CT side in the first half. 10 to three, round 14, Cloud9 again, going for top mid control. It's sometimes the most difficult part of winning so many rounds in a row is just reinventing yourself, but mm -hmm. that's something you're, you've got to be used to. Simple getting the opening kill again on a round where Na'Vi don't have the, the appropriate resources to really like make that easy. They, they still come out with a kill. Now, Arch Control has taken the wrap is out. Smoke in library, I'm not sure. Zeus gets another kill. A site's been kind of taken, but the bomb here and, and Zeus watching it with Flamey on the big flank means that Cloud9 are again down to two. How can this possibly happen time and time again on these eco rounds? Yeah, that's um, it's weird because Cloud9's not in position to ex exchange kills right away. As you saw again, a lot of individual deaths it's not necessary. I mean, you're up 10 rounds, but you want 11. You want 12 rounds. You can't risk not winning all the rounds possible that you can win. You know, like Ecos. It, it might be the second eco round that they've lost. Ooh, clean headshot from Automatic. He realizes that Edward was frank frantically trying to hold that rotate. Maybe he assumes that B is open, but because there was a player at mid, Flamey's going to carefully 
walk in and listen. Automatic misses his opportunity. Could have made it a 1v1. That would have gotten hairy, but Na'Vi really did earn that round, kicking it off with a 4v2 in the first place. Yeah, Stewie again dies first right away. He needs to kind of slow it down a little bit. It's more important that he stays alive, especially he's alone, okay? He's, uh, he's watching himself, the B-Push. Yeah, he's home alone. You could throw the Molotov in that peak. You could sit back, you know, RPK as we... I uh, saw from replays earlier that he sometimes throws a Molotov or a nade and just falls right back to your ramp. Just sit back. And now he dies it off. The Stewie 2K off. You know, there's there's two sides to this. Navi are probably unhappy because they're only winning eco rounds. Like, why can't we do this on rifles? And then Cloud9 are having such a great half, but then they're losing eco rounds. So yeah. they've got to get in their head about that too, right? Mm -hmm. They're forfeiting such a big lead. Like, you know, that, that is going to be lingering in your mind in the second half if you start to lose rounds. Like, oh, we could have had this. This game could have been over. Um, could have been. Yeah, it could have been over. So It's never over. It's never over. Never over. Until 16. Until really sometimes 16. OT. Yeah, it depends. Depends, really. <laughs> Situational. <laughs> uh, uh, Banana Control's taken. Stewie's like, give, just give me an op, you know? Give me an op. They've got, they've got two. Cool adjustment for the second, or the last round of the half. Scootable misses an opportunity. Tries to go fly fishing, but that one's right off the screen in a matter of seconds. And uh, Zeus, kind of, kind of by himself here. No, no support, no arch player to help him. If it is going to be someone aggressive, they, he could get mollied out of this spot. Fortunately, I think for him that they smoke him out instead. But uh, once again, want to try to go back to B. Not exactly sure what their line of reasoning is, but Cloud9 have done this where they've they've attacked B and kind of A at the same time without actually wrapping. Here we can see the wrap smoke come out, though. Zeus now in a pretty favorable spot, but gets blind. Will they clear him? They haven't even checked Cubby. This is a huge misstep. He's letting him into CT, however, and he runs. Wow. That's an opportunity they lost. However, Flamey on B making a case for Na'Vi in spite of that. 3v3, leaving Seized on the site. He spotted, gets one kill. That's a big deal. Five seconds to plant. The bomb goes down in the last moment. Simple on the big flank, and Rush gets an opening frag. Two on one, Simple with the op. Will he try to find a rifle? Will at least have a kit? That's something, but with them playing together and his inability to stay off cycle means it's not going to be easy for him to get a kill if Cloud9 play this properly. Bomb's kind of planted open. Tries to jump up on to the coffin. Hits him with a spray. Maybe guys the noise, I don't know. And that's it, they push around together. End the half. Cloud9 overall, fairly stellar performance. Kills across the board. Both sides being taken nearly even amount of times and uh, some, some good highlights, but that's gonna be it. We'll be right back with the second half in just a few moments. ESL One New York is brought to you in part by Intel, Logitech G, Republic of Gamers, GoDaddy, and StubHub. Sad state of affair as Navi only put together four rounds, two of which were ecos <laughs> and force ups. What's the what's the recipe? What's what do they need to do? They need some hot yoga, team bonding. <laughs> they need some downward dog with each other, downward help each other each out, other, yeah. just to kind of stretch out, right. get loose. Yeah, uh, they just need better teamwork. 
Cloud9 is showing th that they're using better teamwork, better exchanges, and it doesn't help that if you're not hitting your shots at all, it's going to be a level four scoreline. It's a mechanical game, and if you don't put the bullets in the heads, then you are going to lose more rounds than you should, even with the appropriate strategy. And we definitely see Cloud9 meet themselves halfway on that front. But here it is, 11-4. It's uh, Navi on the T side waiting for any push. They put some pressure on Banana Lee Flamey here to catch anyone being aggressive out of Hall's Navi. I mean, excuse me, Cloud9 are not going to bite. Have set up in a, in a pretty passive default crack spot from Skadoodle at mid. Making sure to keep an eye on Boiler as well. Um, Automatic's angle, angle can be tough, but we can see. He's got that crosshair placement lined up nicely. The explode comes out. Bomb might show face first. They haven't actually done anything but given Cloud9 an auditory cue as they mosey their way back to B. The rotate, however, for Cloud9 is out, so they found a fish. They, they, Cloud9 have bitten on the fake, and it hasn't cost them anything. No players, no utility. Good sign for Na'Vi. A lot of pressure on Stu. He's got to be the hero of the round here, and, and maybe the match. This could result in a comeback with just a pistol. Smoke comes out. Flash is dodged. First peak, no kills, however, he's down to 8 HP as the only person here has to kind of fall back. Now, Stewie actually gets killed falling back to construction. Tarek can't help him out in time, and now rotates into construction. His teammates are going to come out. Scoodoodle has the kit and two flashes, but this is going to be quite a difficult retake. Uh, Navi are expending two people here to defend Banana. Rush is also wow. getting crushed with Tarek. The Optic duo getting killed, leaving Skadoodle alone. I guess his job now, try to save the kit, maybe have a miracle, headshot all of them, or just die. Or just die. <laughs> just, just give up on life. Yeah. I mean, what, like, like at that point, at how do you not give up? It <laughs> <laughs> you always have to believe. No matter how dire the situation is, you have to be naive, Ignorant at a point. Naive <laughs> ignorant. <laughs> to where you are. You have to have blind confidence. You have to have blind confidence in a lot of situations. And all you need is that one round, and then that blind confidence actually turns into real confidence. <sighs> you know what? Psychological the, game. Uh, you know, at the very least, we we now have a game on our hands. Navi, in spite of losing all those rounds with the pistol, are going to be in a much better position. Tarek down to just 20 HP with the scale. Won't be able to get any more information at mid or will be less incentivized to try to peek considering he could just get spammed. And uh, yeah, it's it's at least going to be a closer game now. So if if uh, Navi are just late bloomers, slow starters, they Very can possible. they can leave that in the past. They have they have more outs. And also this I mean this sometimes consider T side map, especially if you're on point with your T side angles and peaks. Hey, I mean, it could be very difficult for CTs if you're on point, and not that Navi's warmed up here. Yeah. It could be harder for Cloud9. Starting to heat up. Some the George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> no fat in that chicken <laughs> breast. <laughs> uh, and that's it. A site cleanly taken. Three players up, but they were over at B. As you can see here, it'd be wise just to kind of sit back. Sit together, I'd say, uh, work off an angle, mm -hmm. try to at least get a couple kills, maybe a gun for next round. If you have armor and a gun on top of your pistol, yeah. you can uh, drop it to one of your other teammates. It's always nice. It's always very good. And it adds, you got to chip away at the old block, as they say, you know? Yeah, two chances at the eco. And in the, the next round, if you lose all these guns, you're not going to buy armor again. So. Yeah. And unless you're crazy. Unless you're wild with unless it. Unless you're eating. Right Ooh, damn. Good kill from Tarek. He's going to take that AK and run with it. That's a huge plus. That's a huge win. Turns and Rush decides he wants a gun too, mm -hmm. but he peaked at the wrong time. So they want to get at least five kills in the next couple of rounds to make this competitive. At least so that when it comes to the first rifle round, they can put Navi on a save right away if they do win it. Mm -hmm. But the, the CT side of Cloud9 ha has yet to be tested. Automatic. No. Lowering his wow, he gives up the AK. Saw an opportunity. <laughs> Oh, I'm just like face palming right no now. No migraines. No, we've got so many rounds left. <laughs> it's just like the little things like that just Oof. drive me up the wall. The bears. It, on I mean, side watch. it's great for you to get the kill, but it's not worth it. You're not going to win the round. It's yep. more valuable to have the AK with five people alive. You don't have to tell me. Than trying to get a kill with one and then risking the death. That's it. Not having it.
take away right. from Come the on. hopes of your team in the second. Come on, Cloudy, you did great last half. Do not just <laughs> throw it away. Do not just become peanut brains. Oh. oh. How quickly the tides turn. I know. I'm just, just, I'm sorry, guys. You're fickle like the viewers right now. I'm, 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 I'm playing with their heartstrings. But, but Cloud Nine's playing with my heartstrings. Right. It's a two-way. It's a tango. It's like beautiful. Oh, beautiful CS Cloud. Beautiful. And then you just like, well, uh, derp, derp, derp. <laughs> Simple chipping away at these shoulder peaks from automatic. Won't fall for it. Won't get too crazy. Four round differential, full buy up, op on skadoodle. That's his comfort zone. There it is. Just there. Is that <laughs> right there? It was the warning <laughs> shot. <laughs> That's the one, yeah. That looks so funny from his point of view. Yeah. He has a hoot. Just trying to wipe his memory. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith up in here. It's right. The men in blue. Do we do Sky with an op? No, that's what I've been saying in the past. What was that Scott? Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo with the op over here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm glad that he doesn't have utility. I kept telling James. Less nades? Less nades, more op. More op. I know you're a great utility player, Scott, but if you're the main op, I'm so want smart you, I just with want, smokes. I just want you making plays with, with a gun. Get two kills first, and then you can play around with your then nades. Then go back to spawn and buy nades. There but you, you go. don't have time, whatever. Just, I want you to be aggressive, Scott. Ugh, get in there. Scooby-Doo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scooby-Doo holding down Arch. Great angle holder. Never impatient. He's a turret. He's a turret, yes. He's AI. Yeah, I robot. He's going to hit the shots half the time, most of the time. If you, you come into that angle, that's it. You won't get farther than that. Kind of watching for like a jump or a boost. Or someone lurking through all at the same time, hedging his bets with the the way he was holding his scope. But uh, and we kind of see something similar to Cl uh, Cloud Nine, where Navi just taking mid control, working on halls, but actually going back to B. C9 do play CT size quite passively sometimes, and here they have receded into the site. It's going to rely on this crossfire as Flamey, Flamey leads the entry automatic, going to toss a flash of his own. Stewie here at second oranges in the prime position. The jump actually doesn't help him out at all, and the push through is punished. Scott, even without the op, is able to get a kill. Stewie goes one for one, 3v2 on the retake. Kind of a good situation for both teams. Lots of time to plant the bomb, and op in the smoke to use as utility for Navi as they defend on uh, they defend versus this retake. Two players on banana means this smoke could have been used in a better spot. Edward full blind as well. Great flash on the retake. Perfect position here. Zeus is going to have to shoot and fall off, but with uh, his sense that two players are going to be coming up on him, doesn't want to get traded out immediately. Looking for a different way to approach the situation, but it's not good enough. Solid retake. Nice retake. Perfect flash in banana. I love it. A great hold by Cloud9, but a question that arises in my brain. Mm -hmm. Navi, they threw the default smokes and pushed two people through it. Through the smokes, which is highly. I mean, you can expect sometimes two people to be in the bottom side. I can understand that kind of gameplay. Yeah. It's just so risky. It's risky. It's risky. I mean, sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. It right? was 5v5. Maybe they. I mean, it's part of the strat, obviously. I mean, if you want like a rap strat, why not just throw the smokes to to rap? I know I know people know the smokes. Yeah, there's just a, there's a smoke you can throw to rap. They still would have had this like a similar problem. Actually, Scoodle did get that kill rotating he, in with the USB. So yeah. Because there was one guy in the site, and mm -hmm. then one guy boosted. Boosted. And then I don't know it was just awkwardish. But you know, hindsight's always 2020. 2020. And uh, the Molly is not going to scare Stewie off this angle. Knows that he can't fall back. And capitalizes on Stewie, or on Stimple, excuse me. Trying to prove that he is the best opper in the server. That is a straight up duel one. Tarek from the boost. Gets a kill on Boiler. Great angle to, to attack from if you think that someone's going to peek. And, and yeah, takes him out. No damage for Navi to show for it. Sees Top Banana waiting. And uh, Cloud9 in the power position. Fully passive setup, and this is where Cloud9 shine because they, again, they play their CT sites quite passively. They rely on their site holds because they have great aim. Um, and when they are in these passive spots, which double pit works even versus bracket control, just because pit is so strong, depending on what your contingency plan is versus the utility that comes to you. But uh, it, it's they're, they're not going to get any more openings. Navi are, are going to have to enter a site. Cloud9 not, though, depending on rotates means that uh, Skadoodle is going to be the first one to go and, and has, a, has quite a 
quite a trek. So, game's not over, and uh, Stewie's teammate gets smoked out. Takes an aggressive angle, misses an opportunity, looks for another shot, can't find it. Zeus gets away. Very low on HP, and Automatic has found his way in. Stewie finally makes up for it with a third shot. Him and Automatic in tandem find a couple of kills, and Flamey's going to go for this YOLO plant. <laughs> Once again with the USP on the rotate in, kills Flamey in B. Smart play by Sky right there, even though his teammates weren't around to exchange a kill. Mm -hmm. The time is the key factor, is running really low, so he had to plant the bomb. Yep. So Navi had to plant the bomb, or he'd be in a situation where the round's gonna end up. It's like you have the sacrificial piece when you have the man advantage, another benefit of it. You can go and see, like, is he trying to force the plan or not? And even if Skadoodle dies, time goes down, he loses. Maybe he gets killed, but that's the worst thing that could happen. Mm -hmm. Skadoodle back to holding angles at mid. Uh, Cloud and uh, Navi have a lot of utility, have actually kind of prioritized it here with a, a Deagle and a Galil. And a lot of flashes, so I'm, uh, I want to see what kind of flash execute they're going to use at this A bomb site. And di ideally, no one even sees you. <laughs> Just blind. Just blind and then dead. Yeah, so there's definitely a, a great chimney flash that works so well. Rush after dodging it, however, the timing wasn't perfect. Comes out, gets three. Oh. Tarek also joining in for a great hold. It's almost, oh, one piece, wow, Scootle going over oh, on top of the boxes, killing Simple, and uh, it was just a mistimed, mistimed hit. Rush was, Rush ate that flash. Yeah. There he is, has to unpeak. Two players come out right after, and this is the position they were trying to blind him in, so. Either, yeah, just uh, people at Halls were just a little too late. A little too late. A little too late. You gotta or, be sharp with it. Or a flash maybe missed or something, I'm not sure. Yeah, flash will look good to me. Well, the first one, but did they have a follow-up flash maybe? That, that They had like seven flashes. Yeah, good point. You called how many flashes there were, except there was just one that and ended it, up blinding. It felt like the only two flashes were used. I mean, I'm watching from this point of view, but it, it, it felt like... 200 bucks a piece. Those don't come cheap. No, they don't. What'd you buy with 200 bucks? I would buy a graphics card on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> on eBay, yeah. Because that's get the only nice time we're ever going to get a good graphics card. 660 Ti, maybe. But uh, on, this, <laughs> on this force up, Hall's control denied instantly. Yeah, Players from nice. Cloud9 basically like rummaging all of the last Ooh. resort corners Spider in alt. Senses. And uh, simple. He's only got one one person to fight here on A, but would have to hit a ridiculous one dig to be able to plant Cloud Nine on match point just like that. And uh, Navi actually chose the route, uh, the route, excuse me, of forcing up. I think three rounds in a row. So here they're gonna have just as much of a tattered buy as they did in the previous two. Edward and Flamey are going to have yeah, not the best guns in the world. I wonder what they're going to try to fall back on. And again, this is Navi with the second second half pistol. Seven rounds in total, three in the second half, and a great nade to kick Ooh. off what could be the last round of the game. C's down to 16, Zeus down to half. Handicap strat. <laughs> Handicap strat. <laughs> Just with a goodwill buy. Guys, take 50 damage at least from nades at the start, and then we can start our strat. Right. A dodge, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball type deal. <laughs> you gotta prove you can <laughs> prove it the hard way. But Navi taking the talents back to A. Yeah, Tarek smoking off halls, replacing his formerly optic teammate in pit. And uh, it's yeah, a passive setup once again. These these nades are for naught. There's not much ground to be gained because of them, but they're just kind of going through the motions. Here for the counter Molotov, as well as a smoke in the halls, allows Cloud9 to focus on just one or two choke points. As the Wrath Strat is out, Scoodle missing a first shot, allowing the T's to aggress, but finding a teammate behind him, giving up the op CT control and some options. However, Automatic is there right behind Scoodle. I don't think they thought that he'd be set up as quickly as he was. And from the pit, ooh, from downtown, Flamey is able to crush it, leaving Rush in an awkward spot. Flubs the spray as well. And it might not be over quite yet. Glimmer of hope as Cloud9 are in for the retake. One player at mid. Will he be cleared is the question. Automatic. There he is. He sees him, kills Edward, and gives Cloud9 hope. Not the not Primo after plant spots. Flamey playing this very aggressively and has to fall back to the site, but helps out. Simple helps him out in uh, killing Stewie at Arch and, and uh, 
forces automatic to look for a greener pasture, and that's going to be at the archway. Great flash in his face, and that's going to do enough to de to deny any ability to even win this round by diffusing. But saving the ult for next round, that's a big plus on Cloud9. Navi just barely managing to get that kill on Archway against Ska. And that was a huge one because Ska could have had two kills in that moment. But he didn't get the second shot. Um, yeah, nice shots by Flamey right there in the pit. That's the key That's the key kill, you know. It's worrying about that one pit guy that can just mow people down if you don't hit that, uh, that instant headshot. Yeah. Yeah, it's long range. The inaccuracy definitely a factor there, but Flamey somehow makes it work with his precise shooting. And uh, it's actually just like that, Navi have done significant economic damage to the point that Cloud9 are on a uh, value village buy of their own. It's interesting that Stewie decides to go with armor. Armor so USP. That is something that... I would never do. Yeah. <laughs> I would never just keep that USB. This might activate Navi into pushing into A, knowing that they're on a partial buy, but Tarek, will he find a favorable position to find kills? Does he, oh, wow, completely good his teammate. Insane <laughs> shot, but simple. <laughs> oh, man, he's gonna make the most of it. Stewie with a great spray up mid, leaving it a two on two. The rotate is gonna come in from Automatic, who does have a kit, and two flashbang smoke to obscure his vision. Stewie gonna nade into pit, no enemy there. Stu simple. Oh wow, immediately taking that peek and Flamey up the right side of the smoke calls out Automatic, taking advantage of the crack. And uh, that's a six round differential now. Cloud9 done significant damage, but that's not what Navi are worried about. They're just worried about closing out rounds. Yeah, I mean, I know that Stewie got a couple kills, but him, um, I was gonna say that kind of, I was gonna say that their utility's kind of low, but they don't have a kit, so they sacrifice a couple kits to get more utility. Mm -hmm. And so playing retake is not the best option this round. You want to try to get the kill, play more straight up. Yeah. Because you see that Robbie is trying to put the pressure. Uh, Stewie lets them know that he's pushed up and he gets shot through the wall, I believe, or did he get leg? You want to try to jump away? Yeah, it seems like it. Very common spam. Uh, the action over at, at apartments leaves it in a one-for-one one situation. Sometimes this favors the terrorist just because, especially on a map like this where the rotates are so long, every CT becomes that much more valuable. And, uh, it, you know, with Navi being able to take control of things more easily, it allows for options. And again, they get the state groups, the CTs do not. But there's some info gained that Medterek is, is the, the third opper. The third hybrid on the team, third I as is listed. Third opper, IGL, yeah, IGL. Upper. They're all IGLs and oppers right. apparently, and that's Does probably why they struggled at first. To be honest, the five-headed snake. They didn't know what roles they wanted to play, what kind of how they could use their skill to the maximum potential. Yeah, will Tarek use this information to call for some kind of stack? It looks like not. Instead, just falls back a bit. Navi put pressure on B. Stewie's boosted up with low HP from this position. We'll probably get a couple of bullets off, if not a kill. But it's been common to do this, so we'll see how Navi are ready for it. It looks like they're not. Stewie actually gets two killed on his way out. However, the site has been forfeited, or actually more specifically taken. And uh, another retake situation, this time on B. I would say if... Uh you know, usually people always want to go for two on twos, but with no kit, your money's kind of shoddy right now. I would, you know, try to be super careful on this. I mean, it's almost worth saving if you have a two on two than dying and losing both guns. You know? Oof, and they so, do it, yeah. I mean, I just say in that situation, you have, to, I, in my opinion, you have to save. You would have saved I would the have two saved. on two? It's a two on two, you at match point. Yeah, match point. You have no kits, You're not no position. You, you have no idea where they're at in the bomb site. Be on Inferno. Yeah, it's beyond like it's just a loo It's a very uphill battle, and it's, again, as I say, if you have an AWP and a rifle with five people, is way more effective. Yeah. Than you know, try to force this crazy um, you know round that's way against your favor. I think it's just too appealing to try to go for that. You know, like just it's just too tempting. Yeah, usually you you do want to go for two on twos, but if this if the odds are stacked against you that much. You've got to put things in perspective. Yeah, put things. You have to step back. It's like it's a long game. I just have to hit 16 mm -hmm. or more if I'm in overtime. Right, in overtime. <laughs> you, know, you, you never know.
but it's like, again, you know, they're out, it's not like they needed, needed, I mean, of course you want to win the round, but yeah, um, it's not like dire, it's not, like, it's not really. if they lose, they lose the game. That's you know, right, that yeah. Kind of, it's not that kind of scenario, so something to think about. It's food for thought. Food for thought. Gotta stay full. Yeah. And no off this time. So you mentioned not able to carry that over. Uh, no kits as well. Another round on a rifle with no kits. Last round that necessarily that wasn't necessarily the reason they weren't able to perform the retake, but that threat is always looming over their heads. Here we have a 4A setup, but they don't have banana control. The bomb is up here with three people. They won't necessarily go here right away, but okay, now the rotate's coming back as some pressure has been been put. I think they were just set up potentially to stop any kind of early A hit. And uh, with that... It's been like a methodical CS. Taking their time, almost like the old school Navi where they execute at, you know, 20 seconds left in the round. Rolling, black, rolling back the clock. Rolling back the clock. This is 2015, boys and ladies. Tarek from the pit has been somewhat formidable in this position. Rush in the site this time as a crossfire, but he's completely smoked out from his teammate. The entry goes the way of Cloud9. Rush gets two, one player pushing in. Whoa, Zeus, insane with the aim, pushing through the arch smoke and taking Tarek out in a duel that you wouldn't expect him to win. Another retake situation, and man, what a hit from Na'Vi after losing the initial two kills. Great recovery, and uh, now some final utility being used, but the clock is on, they don't have this kit. Last flash is used, pit gets smoked out, automatic pushing in with his teammate versus Simple. Zeus in the pit with low HP can kind of play for the end game. Will Simple die here though? He does actually lose that duel straight up through a wall bang to automatic leaving Zeus. 1v2 gets killed, Cloud9 win the round. 16-11, do they have time to defuse? It's going to be, oh my gosh, it's going to be very, very close. It's going to come down to the last few seconds and a last moment defuses. No, oh, it's not there! No. That is so heartbreaking right there. Oh my god. That was really close. Jeez. That's that's uh, that's a hard way to lose a round, let me tell you. That's a heart palpitation inducing. I'd, I'd almost take a timeout off that one. If I was coach. Ice yourself. Oh, there you go. They're taking a timeout probably. You're good at calling these timeouts, I gotta say. I mean, it's, it's like I almost know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> almost. I'm almost there. So what is it when you're ice? You're not icing the kicker anymore. You're icing yourself. You're regaining your confidence. Right. Yeah, I mean, you... Oh, not oh, it's not even called it. But you just called it was a time. I, I knew it was a time I was going to be called. I felt in, in the universe the forces of everybody just... It's a, it's a bee's nest right now. Right. The emotions are flying. People are, you know, Anything. Navi's on a high. They're, one they're excited. Yeah. yeah one, they're, they're a bunch of bees. They're a bunch of bees. <laughs> Just a bunch of bees. Yellow coats. But yeah, that's, uh, you know, it, that that actually comes back to saving r guns from a round before. Maybe they would have had a kit this round. Yeah. If they would have saved guns and that's who on two. You never like, know. It, it all adds up. Everything comes as a, as a full circle. The round resets, but the economy rolls over. Yeah. Oh, I like that. You like that? I should quote that. You can put that on your Twitter. No, I want you to put it on your Twitter and I'll retweet it. Okay, there we go. With my thousand Teamwork. followers. Teamwork, see? <laughs> At least a couple thousand people Key to see success it. in all facets of life. It's work. Like, why would I want to be the best when I could surround myself with the best? Right. You make you me look better. You don't want to be the better. smartest guy in the room. You want to be a learner. I want to be, you want to learn. Because I don't want to have all the answers. No. It's too much pressure. Where's the fun in that? There's no fun in having all the answers. People start to hate you. And <laughs> you know it all. Get resented. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Wow. Oh. Uh, C9. You do this weird force by 15-12. What, like 15-10, 15, 15, 15 9, and Yeah, it's a strange half by, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, Stewie's flashed. No one's actually pushed through. He's he's made some noise. I Oh, is he sitting in this? Is he inside? He's pushed through the wall. And he's made his way back through. Oh, he doesn't <laughs> actually find anyone. Pretty interesting timing there. Does actually avoid anybody as they thought they cleared it. With the CZ, tries to catch Seized, jumping up on the crates, but uh, can't capitalize. Good damage dealt, but that's about it. Got confused right there, you know? Yeah. He uh, thought he went through the smoke, but he, he turned in circle so many times. It, it, he came, it was, I was like, wait a minute, I just came back. From a curveball to a boomerang. <laughs> I like a boomerang. It's fun. You know, they make it look so easy, but it doesn't always come back. No. Yeah. You have to whip that thing really hard for it to go f full circle. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. That's, you need like 100 yards. CS is tough. It is. Oh, 
Rush in the back of the site with the CZ. They aren't volleying him out. Nice headshot. That was clean. Hit Derek as well. Whoa, they pushed through the smoke. What the heck is going on? Come on. Not like this. Just simple alone after I don't even know how after the events transpired, Cloud9 were able to get four kills. Whoa, the spray through the smoke. No way. This can't be. That's just... Oh my goodness. That's like the worst peeling. They're pushing to die my limit that way. as a brand new play by play. Oh. It's like who's gonna win? No, they're gonna win. Oh no, no, no. Oh, unreal. And I, did uh Simple actually plant the bomb? Yeah, he does. And then they lined up for him. Let's make it easy for him, you know? I could have been C9's round, but That was a chance. I mean automatic tried to do a good exchange, which is kinda of the right play, but Maybe not, well, I mean, you lined up. That's, you don't ever want to line up. Yeah, to, to sum this game up, it's been kind of by the skin of their teeth. Almost all these rounds have been so close, one way or the other. And, uh, you know, ultimately, Navi are two away from bringing this to OT and kind of just being able to mentally reset themselves. Like, we don't have to think about constantly being one around, one round away from death. Yeah. And then sometimes that can favor the team who does make the comeback as opposed to the one who um, secured OT early on. Yeah. Mentally, it can be taxing to think, oh, we could have ended that game early. You do not want it to go to OT if you're Cloud9. No. I mean, you're on game point for at least last five rounds. Yeah. And that just, that just, every round, and Navi's confidence up. Up, 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 up. All the way up the mountain. They're, they're flying high. Yep. They're up there with Zeus. <laughs> Smoke. Smoke, kind of a smoke execute just to take control of things. They've, they've used this before. Skadoodle, will he push through the smoke? They know that Flamey has wrapped into this. Zeus as well. Before, whoa, what a pick from Skadoodle. So player jumps up on the on the truck, easily taken down. Automatic also as the rotator kills two people, shutting down the R trap completely. But the bomb has already made its way into B. No way Navi are able to win this round. 2v5, open sight, simple, can't believe it himself. It's still prepared to have to kill at least one person here, but yeah, they wouldn't believe it. Cloud9 has really bit on this fake, and he opens up with a kill, but automatic with the third and fourth! Wow. Insane round! Wow. Nice spray control, a little tippy tap, tip tap two. For Jeez. Cloud9, they finally finished it through. How does Skadoodle, does he oh, have like he a saw telescopes on his? He, he's a, he's that, you know, that, that awareness. Yeah. You see some corner in your eye, he's like, what? You know? Yeah, that awareness you can't buy. You can't buy that. No. You have to learn it. Or you're born with it. Genetics. You know what? I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 All right, well, uh, uh, let's let the Cloud9 the former Cloud9 roster analyst and manager break it down for us. Yeah, that pretty much uh, breaks that part of us down, I suppose. <laughs> Guys, looking at that, Navi, uh, you know, that one ended up being a lot closer than I believe it was It was set to be if you look at the first half. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about it, guys. I think headline uh, about that first half closer than it could have been is uh, – C9 losing against two Ecos, right? So it seemed like early on in that first half when they faced their first anti-Eco rounds, right, because they won the T-Pistol, they seemed to handle it well and assertively, right? But later yeah. as the half went on, they lost two anti-Eco rounds because they kind of did that overly passive, all right, guys, yeah. let's watch everything and then group, which doesn't really ever work as well as you think it should. Yeah, they seem to be caught in between kind of uh, aggressive, like you said, and kind of slower. That hurts you out on Inferno, because if you don't teeter-totter properly between the sites, you're going to get picked apart, they're going to take guns, they're going to be able to close the rounds out. Well, that confidence can go a long way, and you know, not yeah. just in Counter-Strike, but hey, that's a totally different <laughs> subject, right? So let's take a look now at some pure confidence coming out uh, from Stewie2K, use, uh, utilization of the MAC-10. Yeah, this first gun round here, uh, he decides to keep the MAC-10, can do a lot of damage on the entry, and a lot of money for him. And look at this, he runs and kills the first guy, first orange, and then the triple kill, and that alone is massive, it's 3-0. They're going to the next gun round with a lot of money. C9 can can now go up, they're gonna go up probably 5 0 here. And, um, you know, you were even talking about the other aspect of that, right? Which is uh, basically it mentally makes CTs want to buy head armor, right? So that's $350 yeah. extra every round that you're kind of incentivized to buy, right? Because if you see a guy using a Mac 10, a goosh. and when you're losing a lot of rounds in a row, you know the CTs have low money, right? Because it's, it's kind of like that do I really need every nade thing, right? Oh, I don't really need this nade, so I'm gonna get the, the head long armor. Story short, Best start they could have asked for. Right yeah, there. so best start they could have asked for. Well, continue down this train of confidence. Let's take a look now at round seven. We do see Tarek find his way into the pit. Uh, walk us through this play, guys. Yeah, so this is a neat strat. We actually ran this back on my team in 2014, and we I think Tyler might have brought this back or something to the mix. But basically what happens is you throw two smokes here. The second smoke is going to land right in front of Simple and Pit. You throw a flash. He read as the flash pops. Tarek gets in the pit. 
So what's important is those two flashes give you a route to jump. And you kind of so he's behind him. He right has now. to do it blindly. So Tarek has to have the skill to jump blind with the flash into big pit. Simple, maybe could have got one there, but it doesn't happen at all. And once you get in the big pit, it's a snowball effect for the T's to take the site. Yeah, no, that was great, right? You just see Tarek on radar behind Simple for a good, like, five to seven seconds. <laughs> ending in a clean way because they lost that 5-0. It gets 5-1. C9 still has a lot of money from that 2K from Stewie. Now they run a strat like that, which they actually tried the first gun round and failed because Tarek didn't get out of halls because of Flash. So Navi essentially didn't see it, and that, that time they ran it, mm -hmm. it was worked out. It almost lulls you to sleep, right? Like, yep. the smoke's laying the same way, but it didn't happen the first time, and now it does happen, yep. so, so it's extra effective. Happy mistake. Yeah. Happy Bob mistake. Ro Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love this guy. Uh, we're going to load up round 13 and, and kind of flip the script now and look a little bit at the Navi side of things uh, and Simple with AWP. Yeah, so uh, we see Simple here, right? So this is C9 trying to go late B. They have a nice flash, but Simple's holding a little bit four, wide. Four. Right, so he gets an easy 1K here, right? But then he goes for extra. He sticks around, and this basically allows him to get killed when he could have easily fallen back to sight, right? I mean, you kind of see fall and take those fallback angles, Well, and one right? of the unique things about this round is we thought it would be over right here. Um, yeah. If C9 gets this round, we're like, oh, Navi gets that advantage, it's 9-3. Earlier when it's 5-1, you're hoping to get five rounds if you're Navi. At that point, they had a good chance. That's where you'll see a player like fall and get that up kill car. You fall back to site, because what that allows to happen is even if you want to take another shot from the site corner, you're gonna, you're gonna create time for the spawn rotator to get to the coffin. But what happened that round is Simple died Flamey's flashing from spawn, but as he's flashing, they're already crossing site. So he's feeling he hurried. His flash, I think he even missed the flash yeah. versus simple falling back. He has time for that flash. And I think the reason we chose that round out, even though there's a lot going on in that match, is that that could have been a turning point for the 9-6. Gives a whole different confidence. Plus, Navi wins T-Pistol. All of a sudden, the even scoreline with maybe just that play. And maybe it shows that Simple is feeling a little bit of heat in terms he has to step up and carry the game a little too much, right? Like, maybe that extra peak, he probably knows that's not a good peak. I mean, but despite that, that's I mean, he's also still able to, to e top frag. Even as so. a player who feels justified in, in backseat playing on that, we are still backseat playing in a certain mm -hmm. aspect, and you do have to make decisions at the moment. That's just one way to show how cool counter can be when one little moment kind of has a butterfly effect on the rest of the match. Well, let's look at it uh, from a different standpoint. And let's say Cloud9, yes, they do walk away with the W here. Uh, but what were some weaknesses that, that stuck out to you uh, in terms of Cloud9, even with the W? Well, I think as we talked about early, um, some of their indecisiveness maybe on the anti eco round, stemming all the way back to when I was on the roster, which is not that they don't always have a, a good plan from the get-go, but that the plan kind of gets divided between the players. I think Marcus said the best B play or the best anti eco play they did was simply Stewie fell in a fake at B and they went up A together. So I think C9 needs to keep it simple and just keep that confident up. Simple. See, should I throw some more wordplay in there? Keep it simple. <laughs> I can't use Keep it automatic. Anymore. Keep it automatic. <laughs> keep everything flowing. Seize the moment and don't rush their plays. Uh, that was th you're good. Right, sorry, anyways, we're done with that. <laughs> okay, look What's next, baby? Look, looking a little forward, though, uh, and then flipping it over to Navi, what did they do that, that you like, James? Like, what stuck out uh, that they did well? I mean, they had a tall, a really solid T-half coming into play. It was just basically automatic coming up with a hero play there on the final round, right? That, like, that B crunch was probably going to win maybe 8 out of 10 times, but automatic gets two kills inside Arch with the guys wrapping, yeah. and then he gets the final two kills, right? Like, how often does the round play out like that? Probably not very often. Yeah. Well, we do have the winner's match set. The stage is set, and it is going to be that time here shortly for ESL1 New York over in Group A. We're going to go to a quick break, and we come back. We've got SK, we've got Cloud9.